All right. How's everyone doing? I'm Rich Chalenza. I have one of the most unique guests that I've ever had on my podcast, on my YouTube channel, Tom Palladino. Um, first, I want to thank you for coming on my podcast. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So, this is going to be incredible. I think when I heard about you and what you're working on and what you're doing, honestly, it sounds like a miracle. <laughs> like I'm not just saying that to pitch you, but I am very interested in what you have to say. And just to give people kind of an idea, um, Tom, is, uh, Tom has gone and developed scholar light instruments that work in conjunction with your photograph in order to provide a quantum healing these are his words. This is incredible stuff. I'm telling you, Scholar Light is a new and promising technology that has been shown to balance the brain waves. And what's this word here? I don't want to screw it up, Tom. Ch it's C H A K R A S. What is that? Ch chakra. There, there are seven points of light in the body. Chakra. They're scalar energy points of light. Unbelievable. Additional to that, you're going to get positive results that suggest that Scholar Light is able to eradicate microbes such as viruses, bacteria, and fungi, fungi, what it comes down to with the future, I mean, really what it does come down to is quantum healing, you know, by way of the photograph is just something that's going to, I think, maybe take off. I don't know how else to say it. So uh, let's get into you. Can I ask you one question? I know we had some questions we want to go through, but who exactly are you? Like... Uh -huh. That's what I'd really like our guests to know right off the bat a little bit, not just going into what you've created and all sure. these things. I, I would consider myself a Christian humanitarian. I am a scientist. I've devoted my career to this new and emerging science, scalar energy. And the reason I've devoted so much time and energy is because this is a gift from God. And I think this can help mankind. That, that's who I am. That's my posture. That's unbelievable. All right, let's get into this. So let's get into really deep into this. What does scholar energy, like where did it originate? And can you describe it in nature? Because I don't think most of our guests are really going to know what that is. Okay. I work with scalar energy. That's not electricity. I work with a different type of energy, scalar energy, sunlight or starlight. And over the, the course of 40, 50 years of study, I've discovered that this energy behaves under principles, laws that are quite distinct. They are not electrical laws. So scalar energy, sunlight or starlight, it's a different dimension. It's so important to realize that there's two energies and I am working with scalar energy. Now, modern day physicists don't necessarily attend to the fact that there's two energies, there are. And, and I will serve to prove that during our discussion. So what is the difference then between scholar energy and electromagnetic energy? Well, when I look at the universe, I would say that the sun and the stars produce scalar energy. That scalar energy drives the universe. It, it's the prime mover in the universe. And that electricity is really a derivative of scalar energy. So modern day science today has been working with the derivative energy electricity and magnetism, they've not been working with the primary energy, which is scalar energy. And, and sadly, that we, we bear the brunt of that mistake because scalar energy is so far superior to that of electricity. That's unbelievable. Let's put it, to, so how does scalar energy then transmute into matter? So one of the principles that I've recognized about scalar energy carries information It is embodied with information. So you need information to hold together a molecule. This represents a molecular bond holding together a chemical, a molecule, something, an element. You need a molecular bond. And scalar energy is that intelligence that holds together a molecular bond. Now, I can use my instrument to either create that molecular bond or break apart that molecular bond. That's the, that's the key element, one of the key elements that I'm working with, that scalar energy controls nature. And that in so doing, I can control the formation or if you will, the, the disassembling of matter, of, of molecular forms. So we now can control molecular forms at the informational level. 
this is a little, this is, um, how, this is kind of over my head at times when you're saying these things. Can you very quickly kind of, how can I, how would our audience be able to first understand like because i think maybe we jump to this it's it's like almost overwhelming to a certain degree mm -hmm. so when you're saying like um i'll just i have another question here so uh how does scalar energy and scalar light turn on the ability to form its own nutrients let's just say that's going to be our next question uh, okay yeah. so consider consider the human body we are composed of elements okay nitrogen hydrogen carbon, calcium, phosphorus. So my instrument can send energy to rearrange those elements, to restructure those elements into say the B complex vitamins or into an antioxidant or amino acid. So my instrument rearranges matter. It creates, it forms a specific molecular form. So by sending energy into a person's photograph, I can instruct that the existing elements rearrange into a micronutrient. Mm. What the? Mm. This is crazy stuff. So let me, so I got some other questions here for you, obviously. Can, we're going to get into the device here that you created, right? And do you want to explain that? Because my next question relates to that. It's basically how does scalar energy allow, you know, to enhance energetic state of being by the way of photograph. But before we get into that, do you want to kind of explain what you created as a scientist? Yeah. I yeah. think the, that's what we got. The, these, these are custom built instruments. And the reason I accentuate that this is a custom built approach. This is a new science. You're not going to, you're not going to read this in a library. This is my invention. This is my approach. It's a rather narrow focus, but it is indeed a new approach to, to science. This is a new chapter in physics. So I have custom-built scalar energy instruments that harness and control scalar energy. Now, when you can harness and control scalar energy, you can do so much more as opposed to working with electricity. So it's a narrow approach. Yes, these are custom-built instruments. And when I'm working with my instruments, this is the new science. I work with people's photographs. People will email me a photograph. This is my photograph. Mm -hmm. My photograph has energy, has light to it. And I actually take a photograph, a printed photograph, and I place it inside the instrument. Mm. So this is known as quantum physics or quantum healing or, or quantum entanglement, in which a photograph carries your signature. So I never work with people or animals. I only work with photographs. And the photograph carries your, captures your energy code or your energy signature. So I access a person by way of their aura or their energy signature or, or what we might call quantum entanglement or their force field. Let's say I capture the force field. So I'm working with their force field. I don't work with biological life. I work with force fields. That's, this is so beyond me. <laughs> When you, because some of you guys I talk to, a lot of times I talk to people in health and wellness and all these other things, and it goes beyond me. It's almost like I got to go back and watch my own, you know, my own interview to kind of catch it again. You know, in defense, in defense of you, Rich, this is new. It's groundbreaking. It's never yeah. been, been done before. So I don't mind having to explain this thousands of times. It, it's it's never been done. It's never been broached. So I'm the inventor. This is my process. Now I have to introduce this new process to mankind. You know, it, that's no slight on anybody's character. So I understand. I we were going to show photos of what the device and everything looks like, and I don't want to do it. I the reason being is I want people to go to your website because that's what I did honestly when we okay. started conversating, right? And you were telling me about this device and what you were doing. So I immediately had to Google it. I went to other YouTube videos that you were in and just researched it because what was interesting is I didn't see the device. You, we just talked about it. And that's what really intrigued me to go research it. Where can people, I, I, I think that's the best way to go about it. Where can they research at least seeing, I, I saw you doing different things with the device and obviously the device within itself. Where can they find that? Yeah, it, the website is scalarlight.com. That essentially has a compendium of my articles that I've written, 
and, and testimonies, and there are photographs of the instruments that I'm using. And again, this is our unique uh, approach. This is a new and emerging science. I think you'll find the website rather um, enlightening and perhaps even entertaining. Yeah, for sure. And I'm also going to put that information in the description below, uh, along with the questions that we're asking, because maybe people, and I may even act, actually put this while I'm editing the questions, because I know sometimes uh, in a situation like this, when everything is absolutely new, they're like, what did he even ask them? Because I've been through that when I've watched certain things. So let's jump back into this with you, because you're, you're, you're on top of things. <laughs> I feel like I'm in Back to the Future and your doc's talking to me over here a little bit. Uh, yeah, that's what I feel like. I'm not going to lie here. I feel like I'm, I'm Marty and I just showed up outside the mall in front of a JC Penney's and you have a time machine. Uh, so here we go. Let's get into the next question I got over here is, what is the future of scalar energy and how will its acceptance serve to change the world for better? That's, I think, what people really need to know. Yeah. Why do we research? What's the point of technology? To help people. It, it's, it's meant as a tool for mankind. This is a tool. And, you know, if, look at the world with electricity and without electricity. And look what electricity has done to modernize society. So it's my viewpoint that scalar energy, which is free energy from the stars, will provide mankind inexpensive, relatively inexpensive, and clean energy. That's one of the advantages of scalar energy. This is the new technology. This is the new energy, the energy of the stars. And in so doing, we don't have to dig for coal. We don't have to rely upon nuclear power. We simply capture the energy from the stars. So the, I tell people the power plant already exists. The stars, our sun, that is the power plant of the future. We just have to capture sun energy and that will allow us to overcome the energy crisis. That's insane. How come, I'm gonna throw this into the mix a little bit here. Um, how come people aren't listening to you or giving you the respect you deserve? My, my research is suppressed. Um, there's, a great deal of, my, there's a great deal of corruption in the world. My research, and I'm trying to promulgate this uh, as best I can, is a threat to the, to the military industrial complex. Why? Because scalar energy can achieve a function that's, that electromagnetic energy cannot. Scalar energy, once, once applied, will serve to replace many existing technologies. So what I have developed, this technology, is a threat to the military industrial complex. Hmm. So can I ask you one more? I'm going to do a follow-up question on that. Yes. You've represent, who have you really represented this to that's, you know, you know what I'm saying? And that's, I, 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 I want, I want to work with everybody in the world. I, I'm open to any party that is sincere, that is honest, but I'm not naive. Not, not everybody out there is interested in the welfare of mankind. So Presently, I'm, I'm trying to garner support. It's a grassroots movement. I can guarantee you big media does not help me, although the results are stellar. And, and I have thousands of testimonies that speak to that point. I, I have to rely upon a grassroots movement, the people. So I, I depend upon the people. Again, there's so much corruption in big media and big business and government and even academia today. You know, it's, it's not... It's not the type of atmosphere that really encourages groundbreaking research. Why? Because groundbreaking research upsets the apple cart. Mm. Scalar energy will upset the apple cart. It's an inti it, it intimidates people. It will intimidate the powers that be. Just out of curiosity, did you ever reach out to someone like an Elon Musk or no. anybody out there that may love something like what you're doing? Or I don't know if he would or wouldn't. No, to, to answer your question, no. I, I let people come to me. And the reason I do that, I want people to look at the website and of their own accord, of their free will, approach me. Now, if people are sincere, I will correspond with them. But that that's not quite the case, especially with people who are Deep, deeply entrenched in the military industrial complex. 
because many of these people realize that a new technology will make obsolete the existing technology. Right. I'm going to give you an example. The horse and buggy, horses, buggies, you know, over 100, 150 years ago, that was the accepted mode of transportation. Yep. I, Rich, I don't have a horse or buggy. I have a car. Yeah. I don't have a horse or buggy. So we, we see how new technology, whether we like it or not, whether we agree with it or not, will serve to replace the existing paradigm. Scalar energy is a much more efficient way of performing work, an objective, a work function. Scalar energy is, is safe and it does not leave any pollution. Mm. The stars do not pollute. There's no carbon emission. There's no radioactivity. This is energy. This is light, pure light, divine light from God. Now, with all of that going for it, you would say, well, this, this is a shoe and this is simple, Tom. No, just, just the opposite. The powers that be suppress my technology. They suppress my work. How long have you been working on this? This has been my life endeavor. I'm 61 years of age, so you I started this at yeah. I started this as a kid and uh, you know, I, I, my website has been public now for 11 years. Hmm. And it, it took me that long to formulate my theories and to come forward with this, this approach that, is, that's, that works, an approach that is reproducible. But even after 11 years of, of trying to advertise and, and promote my work, it's suppressed. Hmm. You know? It just amazes me that you've been doing this your whole life. How did you even like, I just want to ask some questions before we get into some more technical questions. Cause I think the audience would like that is because a lot of people like to hear about the past or like how it, what's the origin story of you starting from a young man. I don't want to get too long winded, but uh, how, do you even, was, how do you lead to uh, that? If that makes it like we can jump to start in college where you really like you yeah. saw something, someone inspired you, another inventor. So I'll, I'll, I'll go back to the timeline. Back in the 60s and 70s, before there were computers, I was a bookworm. I loved to read. I, and I was always inquisitive. And I was reading books about Nikola Tesla. And when I read about this great man, Nikola Tesla, and I understood he was working with scalar energy, especially the latter part of his life. And that what he was achieving with scalar energy was never, has never been reproduced because nobody understood what he understood at that time regarding yeah. scalar energy. He's just, he's just miles, he's, he's light years ahead of people. Anyway, long and short of it, I said, that's it. I wanna devote my life to scalar energy. I know there's another energy besides electricity. Well, <laughs> that, that, that was the, if you will, the, the seminal foundation. And throughout my life, I've been pursuing that course of study. I've, I've was so fortunate to meet an American inventor, Hieronymus. I, I met his wife, who was studying scalar energy. And those two men, principally Tessa in theory and then Hieronymus in, in practical application, are the two pillars that I have learned from. So it's a rather narrow focus. It's, it's not a broad audience, Rich. There's very few scalar energy experts out there. I've, I've come to appreciate that. And Tesla and Hieronymus were the two scalar energy experts. I have a lot of people that follow me that are huge into being an entrepreneur to a certain degree or very independent. Nice. Uh, you sound obviously extremely independent. Right. I don't want to fry or anything, but how does somebody... It, like at the level that you're at where not a lot of people are giving you the attention, mm -hmm. you also are able to keep the drive going. How do you even support yourself to do, sure. like, how do you get through right. these things? Like the fail, I always say fail forward, but how are you doing this? Cause it's not only are you creating amazing things, you're financially supporting yourself, probably your family. How are you doing all these things? It's a struggle. You're absolutely right. It's a struggle. Now, uh, by the grace of God, I, I continue. But I believe in God. I believe in myself. But you, you've made a very good point. Many people have approached me and they said, Tom, if this is so wonderful, why aren't other people doing this? And my simple advice, my simple answer is there's no money. In it. You can't pay your bills doing this. Mm -hmm. How many people want to spend 30, 40, 50 years studying scalar energy and there's no money? Right. And you're ostracized. Mm -hmm. And Invariably, you have to work alone, or if you don't work alone, there's just a few researchers who really understand this science. 
So you're right, I'm independent, perhaps by choice, but in many ways I'm forced to be independent. Why? Nobody else has taken this study up. So I'm forced to do this alone. I am a trailblazer, happy to be a trailblazer. And I, I, I don't look behind me, I just keep focusing ahead. Do you classify yourself as a scientist, an inventor, an entrepreneur, a f- what is your I, I use, I look at yourself? I use, it's so interesting. I use the term researcher. Why? Because I'm researching a new and, and, and uh, promising science. And uh, I, I guess that that would subsume under uh, the term scientist. But I, I use the term researcher. I'm comfortable with that. You know, we didn't talk about you have the device and these devices. Yes. Are you selling the device or are you, no, they send you photos. Let's kind of break right. that down so people right. understand kind of what we're so, looking at here. People email photographs to me. Again, I only work with a photograph of a person one or an animal. Tom, one thing, why would I email you? Because I have a certain type. Of, why am I doing that? Is it because I'm sick or because I want a, a makeover? What do you... Why am I so, saying that? Some people are sick. Some people just want the nutrient program. Okay. So people, once again, will email me a photograph. I don't work with people. I work with force fields on photographs. So on our website, we have a 15-day free session. Anybody in the world can send us your photograph by email or your family or even your pets. Mm. And we offer 15 days of free sessions, in which will balance your chakras and will eradicate pathogens in your force field. And we do that for free because we have to introduce this to mankind. This has never been done before. So, you know, before you buy the ranch, you wanna go out there and inspect the ranch, so to speak. Mm -hmm. So I'm all for that. So we offer everybody in the world 15 days of free sessions. Why? It works. Why do I do that? I want people to feel comfortable. And I I want to encourage people to experience it before they go any further. I don't, I don't ask a penny for people. Any free trial is, is without any obligation. Gotcha. So say I send the photo to you. Um, I get the 15 days. From there, do I, am I, is this something where I'm going to be paying you weekly, monthly? Is this a program that I'm going to be set on? And so yeah. you know, what's that? We, we, we have, thereafter, we have 30 day sessions. Okay. And we allow people to make their mind up if they want to continue. Okay. We, so I, I don't, frankly, I don't chase people. After the 15-day program, if this makes sense to you, you can pay for a 30-day session. And we, we break it down month by month, 30-day sessions to make it palatable, easy. We put that down into increments. Everything is simplicity with me. And I again, I leave it up to the people. The important thing is that Everybody in the world tries a 15-day program. And from there, we have a groundswell of support. Yeah. And after every after 7.9 billion people try the 15-day program, you will see results. Many people will see results. And then this science will take off. But you have to prove it before you move forward. That's why I offer the free sessions. I want to prove to people that this works. Let's also jump into this very quickly because I think we're really flowing here as far as giving some really interesting information. When you said viruses too, let's kind of address what specific virus. So I know when me and you talked, we were talking HIV, we were right. talking um, herpes or things in, you know, is that sounds pretty unbelievable through a photograph that you're able to help me do that. Yeah. Can you kind of take me through the process? I have HIV. I send this to you and I know I get the 15 day trial. What from there, is there anything else you can kind of tell me that we're going to be doing that's going to track me to use it to, you know, this whole situation? Again, what, what's really key is that people feel better or they experience some improvement in their health. Now, I never work with people or animals. I only work with your photographs. So I rely upon you to send us a testimony or for you to provide your feedback. Again, this is a new science. This is not Western science. I'll give you a for instance. I'm working pro bono with an HIV AIDS clinic in Delhi, India. Hmm. And again, I received photographs from Delhi, India. By the way, I've never been to India. 
So after working with these photographs, many people subsequently go on and have a, a, a PCR test to see if they have HIV presence or not. And everybody that I've worked with by way of their photograph in Delhi, India, if they've gone on to get a PCR test, the PCR test is negative. They have no viral load. Now, you cannot explain that process by way of electromagnetic theory. This is not electricity. This is not magnetism. This is not Newtonian science. Mm. This is a new science. I could give you theories as to why that happened, but the science that I'm working with is not Newtonian science. They're, they're two different ways of looking at reality. So I will go on record by saying everybody that I've worked with in Delhi, India is now HIV negative and many of them feel better and they're gaining weight. That's the new science of scalar energy that modern day science can either prove nor disprove mm. because modern day science is not working with scalar science. They're working with electromagnetic science. Mm. That sounds so incredible. I mean, that sounds... And you've done this with uh... people around the world. Every, every time I work with people with herpes, HIV, Epstein-Barr, after I work with them, those people, some of them will demand that they get a, a test. Yes. And I, I have no influence over those tests. You know, there's no coercion on my part. Of their own free will, they will uh, get a test to, to prove the presence or absence of a virus. And the invariably those tests come back negative, negative for HIV, negative for herpes, negative for Epstein-Barr. So we're starting to see a body of evidence, a body of, of information that's developing, but this is entirely new. It's never been done before. And, and, and frankly, what protocol we're going to fo follow is really up in the air. There is no protocol. It, it's brand new. I, I can't accentuate that enough. There's nobody else in the world doing this. There is no protocol. So if I'm going to deal with you, am I basically an experiment to a certain degree? Not in a bad way, but yeah, we're going yes, to be experimenting yes, and seeing yes. what pans out. Because yes. each person, I always talk about it. Everybody is so different than one another. What may yes. work for me may not work yeah. for someone else in this situation. Right. Is that right. kind of... Yep. That you, you, could, you could use that word experiment. Why? It's never been done before. Right. There, there is nobody else in the world that I know of that has this approach. So it's an experiment. That's amazing. I, I mean, it, I think people will want to know too, if you're going to, I'm going to send you the photo, we're going to start experimenting. What does that kind of entail physically for me if I'm trying to do something? So if I do, I start leaning. Are you going to tell me to lean off my meds if I'm HIV or if I'm no, HIV? no. Or see, right? a good point. We we don't provide any medical advice because this is not medicine. Okay. This this is not Western medicine. It's not Western science. People just send us their photograph and we tell them we're not going to diagnose a medical illness because it's not designed to diagnose medical illness. It's designed to diagnose force fields. There are two different sciences. Mm, gotcha. Energy signals of disease. We're not, we're not detecting physical presence of disease. We're detecting energy force fields of disease. Two different divergent thoughts. So again, to, to be clear, the apple is not the orange. Mm. I'm working with scalar science, which is not the orange, Newtonian science. The two are different. So there's a new way of looking at reality. If the new testing has to evolve, a new language has to evolve, a new way of looking at this reality. You know, there, it's, I can't tell you that the dividing line, the demarcation line is, is really set in, in red, red line. It's that you can't have the two coincide. You mm -hmm. either have scalar energy or electromagnetic energy. Say I don't have HIV. I don't have herpes. I don't have uh, other things, but I do have issues with something else. Would I, should I reach out to you to just maybe experiment on my end to yes, say so you can help me? Yes, because that, there are, what, yes, because there's many latent uh, viruses and, and uh, bacteria and parasites that could cause a disease condition in the future. So whether we realize it or not, Many diseases are occasioned, either caused directly by a pathogen or indirectly by a pathogen. 
So I perform a pathogenic cleanse every day. I, I cleanse the body of microbes. And I do all of that by way of a photograph. Why is that important? That's important on account of the fact that everybody, I don't care who you are, you have a microbe. You have some type of infectious agent in your body. Let's get kind of the cost here then. So this is none of my business. You can, you're going to charge whoever sure. you, whenever you want. Um, is it on a, like, if I send it, do you kind of first meet the person 15 days, kind of maybe it's one you charge a certain amount as a pro bono again, because I think people right. really want to know, what do sure. I have to invest here besides my time? Okay. It, it, the first session for 15 days is free. You can send in photographs of your entire family. You can send in photographs of, of five, six, seven people and include your pets. After that, it's I think it's affordable. It's $89 a month. Okay. So just, just call this support desk and just say, I want the $89 special. That's the lowest price we have. It, it works out to $3 a day. So we try to make this very affordable for everyone. That's, I mean, if, if I had something like HIV or if I, I would throw the dice even early, to be honest with you, because I sometimes think, you know, what do you got to lose to a certain degree? I mean, I'm in my opinion, sometimes, uh, Anyways, that's very interesting. Uh, I didn't mean to make you kind of go off the beaten trail here a little bit. No, that's all right. I love They're it. Good questions. Oh, are they? Yeah, because yeah. I think I want to ask questions that I think people, they're not just, um, you know, scientific answers or questions that kind of go over sure. people's heads. Because we want people, if they need treatment, to try out your, you know, your stuff. It's, it's amazing. All right. So... Let's kind of jump back in there with some other questions we have. So what are the unique experiences that you've witnessed when working with Scholar Energy in your laboratory? If, if I have my cell phone close to my instrument, my okay. cell phone works on electromagnetic energy. My cell phone will not work close to a scalar energy instrument. The scalar wave overrides the electromagnetic wave. A, a cell phone will not work close to my instrument. A computer will not work close to my instrument. Sometimes I, if, if uh, in the past, if I had one of these instruments close to a TV, the TV will, will be blurry because it interferes with the signal, with the electromagnetic signal. Mm. Furthermore, proving my point that there's two energies. There's a scalar wave, there's an electromagnetic uh, energy. And the two do not coincide and, and you can either have a scalar wave or an electromagnetic wave. So when I place my cell phone close to the instrument, scalar energy is predominant and it overrides the cell phone. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up, Tom. Um, mm -hmm. If you want for the audience, can you be a little specific on, I know we mentioned earlier, but let's do it again now, just to repeat kind of what, where the website is. Sure. Uh, where they can find you, or if you want to, if they want to reach out to you personally, or should they go to the website or you, you know, whatever is going to work best for our audience to really get in contact with you. Okay. Okay. Once again, this is an emerging science. So what we offer are 15 days of free sessions. You're going to visit the website, scalarlight.com, S-C-A-L-A-R, scalarlight.com. And you email us your photograph. We work with you by way of the quantum field of your photograph. You could send us photographs of your entire family, include your dogs and cats. And for 15 days, we're going to eradicate pathogens, microbes. We're going to balance your chakras and we're going to provide nutrients for you. After 15 days, I would say most of you, the greater majority of people feel better. Now, even though you can't necessarily pinpoint why, and I don't blame you, this is a new and emerging science, it's never been done before, you're going to feel better. And then you might wanna investigate further as to why you feel better. You might wanna start reading some of the hundreds of articles that we have on the website. Again, this is all groundbreaking research or groundbreaking technology. I don't think anybody in the world has my approach. So visit scalarlight.com and avail yourself to the 15 day session. Yeah, and if you want other information on Tom and everything he's talking about, uh, you can go to YouTube because that's what I did. He's done some other podcasts that are incredible interviews besides just your podcast. Uh, I'm sorry, besides just your website. There's a lot of great information and images on you. 
uh, of you even working, which blew me away, even with the lights and everything. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, thank you for being a guest. You're one of the most unique guests, like I said, that I've ever had. Thank you. Probably over my head a little bit. I got to do some more studying, but I've learned so much from you. I'm not just saying that to say that, but a uh, huge honor. And everyone, I'm going to be posting this thank on you. all my social media links. Um, obviously, YouTube, my podcast, and everywhere. So if you get a chance to try to share it with others as well. All right, we're going to wrap it up there. Again, thank you so much, Tom. Thank you. All right. Thank you.